You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Everything about Lilibet. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Harry's wife's facade is fracturing. More and more people see through it. She doesn't see that it's fair or right that people regard her this way. She doesn't realise that she operates a facade. She thinks she is what she portrays to the world. We see that she's not. We know that she's a narcissist. Nevertheless, her narcissism demands that people come to heal. And as a consequence of that, poor souls such as Danielle Stacy of Hello remains chained to a radiator in a bunker somewhere in London, being forced by rubber mask wearing celebrity personality types to churn out more nonsense about Harry's wife to make her seem kind, empathic and relatable to try and shore up that facade. It's not going particularly well, it must be said, but nevertheless that isn't going to stop her from keep trying. And, of course, her article de declares everything Prince Harry and Harry's wife have shared about Lilibet Diana, photos, milestones, and more. This is another article that's there simply to bring up the past for the purposes of assertion of control over the readership and to draw fuel from them and to try and maintain the fracturing facade. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex became a family of four, with the arrival of their daughter Lilibet in June 2021, we are now told for the 675,432nd time. Prince Harry and Harry's wife are ensuring that Archie, now three, and one-year-old Lilibet, as we're told now for the 572nd time, that they are those ages, are growing up as private citizens. But the couple have shared sweet details and images over the years since becoming parents. Hmm, well... They haven't shared a huge amount, and interestingly, of course, we hear nothing about the pregnancy itself, which, of course, we would have expected Harry's wife to give it us all in lurid detail had it actually occurred. For instance, surely she would have fallen to the floor at some point and wept, maybe with joy, maybe with exhaustion, but she'd have fallen to the floor at some point in the delivery room. But we get no tales of that. Instead, apparently, courtesy of Hello, the couple have shared sweet details and images over the years since becoming parents. Take a look at the Sussex's children's most adorable moments in the clip below. Well, there is no clip below because I'm not sharing that. Instead, the, Harry's wife revealed her second pregnancy on Valentine's Day 2021 with two special photographs taken by close friend Mizan Harriman. Thereafter, photograph Mizan reminisced about the special announcement earlier this week, resharing the snaps and writing... Two years ago today, I helped my friends announce some wonderful news, bringing up the past by proxy. The images which were taken over Zoom show Harry's wife cradling her baby bump with her head in husband Harry's lap. The second shows the pregnant Duchess holding Archie in her arms as Harry hugs his wife. thought this was meant to be all about Lilibet, anyway. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on the 4th of June 2021 at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, with the Sussexes announcing their daughter's arrival two days after her birth. A spokesperson for the couple said at the time, It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Harry's wife, the Duke and Duke of, Suchus, of, Suc of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. Lily was born on Friday, June the 4th at 11.40am in the trusted care of the doctors and staff, at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. She weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces. Both mother and child are healthy and well and settling in at home. Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibert. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honour her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. This is the second child for the couple, who also have a two-year-old son named Archie, Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The Duke and Duchess thank you for your warm wishes and prayers as they enjoy this special time as a family. Thank you ever so much, Hello, for regurgitating an event that occurred just under two years ago and putting out word for word what happened at the time that you've told us about many times before and it's necessary to repeat once again for the purposes of ensuring that the narcissist, Harry's wife, remains in the news. In his memoir Spare, which was released in January 2023, yes, we fucking know, last month, Harry described the moment he helped to bring his daughter into the world and didn't realise that he'd turned into a midwife. He wrote, I slid my hands under the tiny back and neck, gently, but firmly, as I'd seen in films. 
I pulled our precious daughter from that world into this, what, the world of film, and cradled her just a moment, trying to smile at her, to see her, but honestly, I couldn't see anything. Why, we off your tits again? I wanted to say, hello. I wanted to say, where have you come from? Well, you should fucking know, you idiot. You've just apparently pulled her out of your wife's vag. I wanted to say, is it better there? Is it peaceful? Are you frightened? Don't be. Don't be. All will be well. I'll keep you safe. What a load of fucking nonsense. Seriously. Seriously. Just didn't happen. He didn't think anything like that. That's, of course, Harry's wife intervening once again. The Sussexes keep their children out of the public eye for merchandising opportunities and did not share a photograph of their daughter until Christmas 2021. The adorable family photo was taken by their wedding photographer, Alexei Lub Lubomirsky, at the couple's California home. The precious portrait showed the Sussexes posing on some steps, with little Archie sitting on Harry's lap and Harry's wife lifting Lilibet into the air. The message on the card read, Happy Holidays. This year, 2021, we welcomed our daughter Lilibet to the world. Archie made us a mama and a papa, and Lily made us a family. I'm sure Archie's delighted about the fact that he didn't make them a family. Apparently, though, of course, he's uh, just a hobby. According to Harry's wife's observations on the Ellen DeGeneres show back in 2021, Harry and Harry's wife shared an adorable photograph of Lilibet to mark her first birthday in June 2022. The snap, taken by Mies and Harriman, showed the little girl wearing a blue dress and a headband while smiling at the camera. Lilibet's milestone birthday coincided with Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, and the Sussexes marked the occasion at their UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. We've all seen the picture. It doesn't really look like a smile to me, but there we are. But of course, bringing up the past once again, footage from their Netflix series showed the Sussexes hosting a tea party in the garden and singing Happy Birthday to Lilibet in front of a beautiful pink cake. Not pink pancakes, but pink cake designed by their wedding cake baker, Claire Patak. Watch out, she's going to attack. Lilibet's first meeting with the Queen. Harry also shared details of Lilibet's first meeting with his late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. He recalled the moments as he reflected on the Queen's death, writing, For days and days we couldn't stop hugging the children, couldn't let them out of our sight, though I also couldn't stop picturing them with Granny, the final visit. Archie making deep chivalrous bows, his baby sister Lilibet cuddling the monarch's shins. Sweetest children, Granny said, sounding bemused. She'd expected them to be a bit more American, I think, meaning in her mind, more rambunctious. Harry doesn't know a word, rambunctious, ghostwriter, or Harry's wife looked that up from her $10 word book. Harry and Harry's wife shared a rare insight into their family life at their Monty Shit Show home in their Netflix shit series which aired tediously in December 2022 and is again being brought up a matter of two months later. Home footage showed little Lilibet crawling and toddling as she learned to take her first steps in the garden. The Sussexes also spoke about family traits in their children in their Netflix show and revealed who Lilibet takes after. I think at the moment I see a lot of my wife in Archie and I see a lot of my mum in Lily. She's very Spencer-like. She's got the same blue eyes, Harry said. Blue, blue, blue eyes. Harry's wife emphasised showing her penchant for being insightful and forensic with everything that she says. Sort of like golden reddish hair, Harry added as his daughter as home footage showed Lilibet wearing a floral romper and crawling across the Sussex's garden in Monte Shitshow, unaware that she was being monetized for the sake of her parents' greed. In an interview with Ellen DeGeneres in November 2021, Harry's wife spoke about her children's sweet bond. Ellen asked Harry's wife about her son Archie, saying... Is he a good big brother? To which the Duchess replied, he loves being a big brother. She continued, someone told H, objectification, and I, that when you have one kid, it's a hobby and two children is parenting. Suddenly we realised, oh right, everyone else talks about what it's like for the second child, but no one talks about the adjustment for the first child when the second one comes along. So I think they have that moment of, oh, this is fun. Oh, this is how it is now. Again, showing her penchant for brilliantly incisive observations about family life from somebody who clearly doesn't really invest in it in the slightest. And that's your lot. Re riveting, won't it? And that's what you have to have with regard to another PR puff piece that's designed to bring up things that we already know, some of which were only mentioned a matter of weeks ago for the purpose of ensuring that Harry's wife remains in the news, all driven, of course, by her rampant narcissism. 
I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.